Okay, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know by now that I am addicted to making earrings. But most of my tutorial are showing you guys how to make dangle earrings. But this time, I want to show you guys how to make this really cute small studs. Aren't they cute? They made of beads. Alrighty, let's begin. Here I'm using about 4mm bicone beads. For this earring, you want to use loose thread. I don't have my scissor on hand, so I'm using the plier. And of course, you also need a needle to thread the beads more easily. Just pull the string in the midway, you don't have to tie a knot at the end. If you're making this for a stud earring, be sure to pick a round center bead. Then you can add 5 small beads of your choice. Pull all the beads to the center of the thread. Go ahead and loop your needle to the first bead. Ha, this technique looks kind of familiar, right? Count to the third bead and go ahead and loop it through. Search for the fifth bead and go ahead and pull it through. You may need to wiggle it tight a little bit, then you will see the first part of the bowl. Hmm, that wasn't too hard, was it? Be sure to thread your needle through the center bead. You just made one part of the bowl. Now you can move on to the other side. Add 5 more small beads. This time pull the beads all the way to the center bead. And you're essentially using the same technique. If you follow all the steps correctly, you should see that one end of the thread will meet up with the other. Be sure to pull all the beads tightly together. At this point, you can go ahead and remove your needle, grab both ends of the string, and just tie a knot. You may want to tie a few times just so that it don't come loose. Hmm, it looks so weird using a plier. Well, you just learn how to make a beaded bowl. This bowl is very decorative and useful. You can even use it to add to the sea lion. I will show you guys how to make this after I get off from this crazy work hours. Anyway, move on to finishing the earring. Here is a ear post. It's flat, so I need to use the plier to wiggle the edge a little bit to make it a little bit like a dome shape. This way, it will hug the beads in place. You can kind of tell the difference between the altar one. I'm using my trusty E6000. This glue is awesome. I think any crafter should have one. Go ahead, set your bowl in place and just attach the ear post. Be sure it allows it to completely dry before even wearing them. Don't they look cute? And they are super easy to make as well. I wish I could have modeled for you guys, but in my current work hours, I look like a total mess. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I'll see you next week. May you be happy.